Um, also, I remember her, she said she would let me body slam her. And she said I could put her in a leg lock. So, like, I feel like, I don't know, the connection's already there, you know? So that's why I feel like, you know, me and Terry kind of click, you know? Okay, great. That's your 20 seconds. Phil? <clears throat> uh, first of all, I just want to say, Derek, that was a great, great 20 seconds. I loved it. Um, first of all, uh, much respect I'll for both you, Derek before. and... And Terry, I've uh, said that to you before, actually. That me? was a great 20 seconds. I loved it. Who, me or Derek? You. That was at least 35. Um, I'm going to just say, me and Terry, if we're talking about like past, me and Terry, we made eggs together. She helped me make eggs. Um, she told me to put broccoli and tomato in my eggs. And um, it, was, it was a good time. And I felt like if we can cook together, we'll stay together forever. And I just feel... Super we don't make together. Don't forget that Indonesia. Pardon or, me. We went to on vacation together. We, we did. We did spend some time in Bali together in Indonesia. Yeah. A nice two months. I lost my wallet, and you did help me um, find it. Um, so that was super nice. And um, yeah, I think the omelet really was the strongest connection. And I just feel like I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And there's nobody else for me. So I don't know what else to say. So. Uh, Phil won the first round, Derek. Sorry. So no worries. No worries. I want y'all to go ahead and describe my vagina with three words. Just three words. Who, who first? You want, should I go first this time? Just because Derek went first last time? Go ahead. I'm going to start with um, elegant. Uh, second, I'm going to go with adventurous. And third, I want to go with um, tactful. Yeah. Can you explain why you chose those three words? For sure. Um, so elegant, just the shape. It's just such a beautiful shape from top yeah. to bottom, every this inch. Is, this is very true. Very elegant. Just You will see this, and it should be in a museum. Um, adventurous, just because once you're in it, you just don't know where you're going to go. So it's just... Or you don't know what's going to pop up. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's yeah. just like always a new adventure every time I'm in that. Um, and tactful, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what that word means, but it, Me sounded, it sounded good. Yeah. So we went with that. Like it, yeah. made, it made it sound smart. I, I like that word too. That was a good one. I don't know what it means though, but I, somebody <laughs> should. All right, uh, I'm going to say Maze Runner. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Jungle. Ooh. And then I'm going to go with Sensitive. Okay. Why did you choose those three words? Jungle, because uh, you get lost in the jungle, and you know it's pretty a lot of a uh, lot of trees down there. You know, um, I would go. Oh shit, what's the other word? Maze runner, because you know it takes a lot to get in there. So you know, like you know, you're not easy to get to. You know, yeah, it's kind of like, you, you know, know, I just gotta, gotta get to know you first and type shit. Yeah. And then um, gentle, because you know you just gotta be nice with it. You know, you don't gotta be mean to it. So like, I like that filter. That one, like, I like the. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's, that's pretty, my that's three words. Yeah. Well, Phil, once again, you have won the second round, and Derek, you are just, 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 the, just, just right behind him. But you are behind him, which you're no stranger to be behind men. So, um, then we're gonna go on to the third round, and then the fourth round will be the last round. The third round will be if you and I were to get married. What? What? How would you take care of me? Derek, and what way start would with you one? take care of me and satisfy me as your wife? I'd give you a ring pop. Yeah. Was that was that it, Derek? You have the floor. The floor is yours. You can ring take pop. it. Ring pop. I think that's a ring pop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair. I mean, who doesn't love a good ring pop? Exactly. That's yeah. all you're gonna do. To satisfy me as your wife? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts, you know? Okay. Um, well, first, I'd probably take you to the French Riviera. Um, we'd float around, um, see the sights. And then I'd take you out to get a baguette with some little nice cheese, a little stinky cheese, maybe a little gruyere and a little little Persian, and then little wine, maybe a red, and then a couple of red, bottles of red, I don't know, maybe a yeah. white, who knows. And then, at the, at 
sunset, right when the sun is hitting well, the Eiffel Tower. Something I didn't ask for. I'm telling you. Well, I'm, I'm telling you how I'm gonna propose, babe. Oh, okay. Jesus, you I ruined the surprise. I said, how are you gonna take care of me and satisfy me as your wife? I didn't say nothing about no damn propose. I thought I had to propose first. He was talking about ring pop. That dumb ass talking about a damn ring pop. And then he got me thinking about proposing, so I'm like, okay, I man. Fault, my fault, I'm dyslexic. It's okay. Yeah, you ain't dyslexic, you're homie. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, wait, do you want me to go, uh... Homie <laughs> is crazy. Do you want me to go again, then? No, actually, I don't. You're gonna go no after worries. Phil. No worries, pumpkin. Okay, what would I do to serve you as my wife? Right? Yeah. I would um, make sure um, that all you have to do is take care of the children, you know? Just make sure they're good. And I would just come home, bring the bacon, you know? I, I'm allergic uh, to bacon. Oh, just a figure of speech, babe. Just, oh, okay. just going to bring some money home, you know, make sure the family's good, make sure the kids are in school, you know? Make sure you're good, make sure... The financials are good. The checkbook is checked. You know, making sure all the finances are no worries. Make sure you got a car to drive around, or I'll even drive you around. How many higher. kids will we have? We're gonna have three kids. Okay. Three how many kids. boys? How many girls? How many boys? How many girls? Two girls, one boy. Two older girls, one names? younger boy. Uh, we're gonna go with. Um, we're gonna go Bella for one of the girls, and we're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you pick the one girl name. I'm thinking Jebediah. Jebediah for yeah. a girl. For that's a girl my name? grandma. That's my grandma's middle name. So okay. I'm and then I'll, okay, we'll go Jebediah, and then mm -hmm. I think uh, for the young boy, we'll go uh, Derek. Love it. Some of those are biblical names, except for Jebediah, the one I picked. Uh, how about? Um, Jordan. No. You like Jordan? Sure. Ruth is a good name. Is Jebedi it? Jebediah Ruth. Sounds hard. I like it. Derek, this is yes. your second chance. Um, if we were to be together, I think, you know, I'd let you do all the work and while I stay at home. And I take care of the kids, you know, because like I feel like, you know, damn it, I feel like it's just like a vibe, you know, like, you know, I take oh, care of the kids, that. you name the kids and everything. I'm going to give you, you know, you can be like the more dominant one, you know, you tell me what to do type shit. You know I, mean? I know you're used to homosexual relationships where you get a penis in your booty hole, but uh, this is would be a, a heterosexual relationship where the man will take on the man role and the woman will take on the woman role. I, like I don't know where you're confusing that at. Oops. You know, I just thought, you know, we can be like a little switch, you know, it's kind of like we take no, turns. No, this ain't, this ain't you top me, I top you type of thing. This is a man and a woman, not two men. Okay, okay. When a man loves a woman. Uh, I might, I might throw so the flag. Little singing, Derek, you won this round. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to go over to the last round, last round. And uh, that 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 question is going to be: How and what ways do you serve Jesus Christ? Am I Derek or? Oh, wait, I'm going go first. Sure, sure. Wait, can you repeat the question, sir? And what ways do you serve Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Uh, God first. So, like you know. I feel like anything is like any like anything I do in life kind of surrounds myself around God. So like you know, things I do really impacts me and everything. Uh, getting on my knees for you, um, that's another one. So that's why it kind of like you know impacts me as well. Um, but yeah, that's like really it. You know, I just feel like based off like the person I am is really based on what you know God did for me type shit. You know. Uh, yeah. Valid. <sighs> I let God really decide and I just kind of play my part and just be the best version I can be of myself. But I know that he's always looking out and has a plan. So I'm just trying to fill the shoes that he wants me to fill and uh, make sure that I'm doing him justice and everything I do is for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, 
just making sure that I'm being so good. So you ain't got no background and you don't know what the hell you are, what directions you want life to go when you're letting another man choose for you where you want it to go. Jesus Christ is not another man. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. The, amen. The Lord and Savior. So, uh, you know, just doing right by him, praying, making sure. Good looks, you know what I'm saying? Good looks. Um, shout out J Jesus Christ and God, the homie, you know? Sorry. Big man, the big man upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Derek has a big man up his stairs, but that man <laughs> is a sugar daddy, and he has to suck him off um, here and there to get, uh, you know, to stay in that house. But you know what, we're trying to change that right now. Unfortunately, um, it looks like we won't be changing that at all because I don't fuck with you, bitch. Yeah. Oh, I almost called you an F slur. And I'm gonna call you if I want to. <laughs> I gotta call you my baby. And I will do it when I wanna do it. Cause I did not fuck all I do it. I don't fuck it. Everybody else, stop me, you me. I gotta you up. Hi. Who's sneezing at me? I look Who's like you. You sneezing at me, bitch. Bitch, I'm not laughing. Huh? I'm not laughing. How are you? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? You want a battle? I love your weed. Yes. It's so good. It's my wig. Your wig. It wig. looks good. I'm not wearing the wig, sweetie. Oh, is that your real hair? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's That's quite full and hair. bouncy. Quite full and bouncy like my booty cheeks. Damn. I like yeah. it. Guys, yeah. can you tap on the screen, please? Huh? No, no, I'm telling my, my friends to tap on the screen so I can win you. Who's that girl in your house? The girl in my house? Yeah, who's behind the camera? Um, she's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Is it like y'all are together? Yeah, like we are together. Uh, it's like you're you're not a, a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. You can laugh all you want to, but the hoop earring tells me everything I need to know. And your little buckwheat hair coming out from your head. I know you're a homosexual. You sit in that camera and give yourself those little Senegalese twists in the camera, in the damn mirror, and kiss yourself in the damn mirror because you give me, you give me fancy, you give me sickening. You think you're sickening. I, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You got flavor to you. I hear it in your voice. You jealous I got a girlfriend? No, I'm not jealous at all because your girlfriend don't know you're a homosexual. I don't want no homosexual boyfriend. Been there, done that. Thank you. Are you a homosexual? No, I'm not. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> can I talk to your I girlfriend? See. No, you can see her. Sorry. She don't like that. Wanna... She's embarrassed. Nah, she isn't. Oh, she's embarrassed, and you know that's all right because I will be embarrassed to be with you too. I will be hiding my face too. I'll be hiding in the eyes of the Lord too, because she's just a sinner. Yeah, <laughs> that's all for me yeah. now. I, See, I'm I'm super glad that you added me today. Like I was literally there, like I just came live and then saw you adding me. I was like, what? Damn. The same, honestly. I don't I, I, I'm a big fan of you, but I'm, I'm, I've been following you like for a long time. What's my name? Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> See, I'm sorry, but like, yeah. I, I know. How the fuck I know you know somebody? You don't even know who the fuck you're following for a long time. You don't know their yeah. name. Terry Joe, I don't know that's your name is Terry You're Joe. Reading. I'm surprised you could even read it since oh I almost said something great. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm but but an African, so that's why. You said it for me. You said it not me. Yeah. What did you say? Nothing. Oh, okay. Yo child, let's try win let's try win Terry Joe. I'm just oh my god. Can so, someone come yeah. for 
What did you and your girl? Can I can I see the screenshot first? I'll just tell my friends that I went to laugh with Sarah Okay. Okay, try try and look good, okay? Yeah. Hi, pose. Look good. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Joe, because Yo. I will crawl up over into that screen and take a nap and yeah, get back I'm, between your fucking two front teeth, bitch. I will take a nap in there. Terry Joe, do you listen to Afrobeat? I will park my trailer home in between your two front teeth. Terry Joe, did you? Know I said. Huh? I said, do you fuck with Afrobeat? I do. Who is your favorite artist? Um, Spice. 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 Stop it. Under the sheet. 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 No, no, no. I, I, I'm. Oh, and you requested you me. Like and you requested me. We have you requested, me. you requested me. You requested me. Come on now. Fuck you. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I really don't fuck with you. I want you to know that. That's fair. Yeah, I just really want you to know that. I know that you know that, um, like, I don't know, 80% of the people that is around you in your circle in your life don't really fuck with you. I'm one of those people. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. You and me, we will never, we'll never be like this. This is the second time. This is the second yeah. time, lady. You request me, but this time you don't leave, so I'm, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I will. I can if you want me to. You can what? It ain't nothing but a click of a button. <laughs> Tell her to go live with who? What I is a heart? Go live with your grandma from the de from the depths of hell. I will go live with her and watch as she burns in hell. That's what I will do. What's on your what is that? What's this? Oh my it's a little clip. Then it got a blade inside of it. So if you want to get suicidal? if you want to get fancy with me, you want to get handsy with me, I will take this off and do something to you. I can't. I have a girlfriend. Oh, I don't care about none of that. I'll kill. Oh, I'll get her Yo, too. What? Yo, what? Nah, no, nah, nah. She's casual, bro. She's casual. <laughs> You have a good night. I'm going to bed. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna sit here. Nobody but your sitting here. Hello? What's up? Hello. What's up, wanna go for a bottle? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I wanna go for a bottle. Let's go for a bottle, guys, everybody. Let's go for one. And then go for two, and go for three, and then go for uh, go for. I want to go for. Who gonna buy me a gopher? Hello. Hello. Are you battling? Am I battling depression? Yes, I am. Oh, me too. Yeah. You're also battling hair loss, but <laughs> hair loss. I know it's fine. <laughs> that's something you and I uh, can't agree on, but I know. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm in Colorado. Hi. I'm from Louisiana. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> How's your evening treating you? Um, It's all right, actually. I, I actually just got home from church, and I'm feeling quite blessed and sanctified, and I got the word of Jesus running through my veins and stuff. I'm about to piss it out. The fuck you laughing for, bitch? I ain't laughing. I'm dead ass. <laughs> Cut the cameras. I'm dead ass. <laughs> bitch. You know you look a bit different than on TV. I mean, on TV, on the music videos and stuff. I see you on the music videos and stuff, but I, right now you look a little different. <laughs> look a little less gay, but still gay. Hello? Wait, what, what, what are you talking about? You're not the X? Oh, why are you saying that? I'm not Lil Nas X. Oh, okay. Then why is your name Nas? 
Shorty Bay. What happened to that? What happened to her? She alright? The fuck? <laughs> you talking to my buzzball, the fuck? What shit, man? The fuck? What? What'd I do? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about Shotty Bay. What do you think? I'm a little nauseous. Nice. Come on, bro. Why, you got, why, why well, can't you be nauseous? You're the one run around here parading yourself as a homosexual. So how the hell am I supposed to know? I don't know the difference between colored people. You know the difference between me and you? No, I don't. Actually. Because I'm not. Like this. Can you do the cat daddy? No. But you can see my cat daddy. Can you do the sick... Huh? How is you? Long time no see. Oh, I thought you called me Teresi. Um, I'm good. How are you? Wow, I'm good. Okay. You're looking Happy good. Like Happy New Year. Navy blue. Long time no see. I think yeah. it's been almost one year since I saw you. It ain't been a damn one year. Yeah, I think it's been a couple months. Years. It's been like three, four months. It has not been a year. I think one year. It's no, no, it hasn't been a year. I know it may seem like a year because a couple months without the presence of me feels like an eternity. So I, I understand where that's coming from, but it's only been like four months. I have a question. Yeah. Why didn't you follow me yet? Because I don't really fuck with you like that. I followed yeah. you. I followed you one years ago. Yeah, the thing is, I don't really fuck with you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can follow somebody and then you talk to somebody, you have a conversation with somebody, but that don't mean you really fuck with them like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really follow you back, so I don't really fuck with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if today. You, you are Georgia Peach? Do I look like that bitch? No, my name is Terry. Terry? Yeah. Where is Georgia Peach? Somewhere probably, oh, almost as great. Somewhere being a whore. Okay. Do you want to battle? Sure. So how have you been? I'm doing good. I went to US. Two months ago. And you didn't come visit me? <laughs> Where do you live in? Louisiana. Louisiana. Is Louisiana East Coast? It's in the South. The South Coast. South, south Coast. South? Okay. South coast, yeah. Okay, South. Uh, I went to West Coast and of course you did. I want to go East Coast the next time. No, you should come to the South Coast and come visit me. And I'll show you around the South Coast. You'll love the South Coast. And then, do we have a date? <laughs> we can go on a date if you're paying. I ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah, you can pay for it. We can go to uh, Cracker Barrel. Get us some. Oh, how you been today? I actually am great as hell today. I actually just got home from a date. Oh, who you date? Going on. Yeah. A date with a young, fine young man, tall. Uh, think I'm not tall. Huh? Thank goodness I'm not tall. Yep, he's like 6'3". Because you he like tall correctly. Guys. He knows how to treat a woman, and he knows how to cook, too. Much better than you do, I'm sure. I ain't never... I, I'm not too tall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm looking for the complete opposite of you, because you don't treat me right, so... And I tell you what... No, this I'm man, proud of you going on dates. That's a good idea. You know, go on dates, you know, you don't have to think of me always. I don't have to go on multiple dates. You put an S at the end of that. This is the one for me. I'm not going on another date. This is the only date I'll be going on unless it's another date with him. No, I'm proud of you. It's a good thing. You ain't proud of me. You're upset. You're trying to hide the fact that you're in pain right now. You're mad as hell. How mad? You're mad as hell. You want to be with me. But you played too hard to get. Now I'm out here getting myself another man. I'm too way too hard to get. Yep. Yes, <laughs> you too easy to get. Girl, I ain't shit over here but easy, but an easy bake oven, bitch. And I will put you in there and bake you like a batch of brownies. Stop fucking wheeling me. 
brownies? Brownies! I love myself some brownies. Do it on camera. Do it on camera. What? I will do it on camera too. What? I will do it on camera. Baby, you like some brownies? Oh yeah, bake me some brownies. I hope you're not poisoning. I will. I will. Will you put anything in it? No, I'm not saying I'm going to bake you some brownies. I'm going to bake you like a brownie. I'll put you in my easy bake oven and girl, turn that shit to max value. You're huh? Are you threatening me? Am I threatening you? No, that's a promise, sweetie. There ain't no threat. That's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do today, Tilly Joe? Except for going on a date. Well, I um, actually was off of work today, so I decided to go to the church early in the morning, and I was at the church all day, and I just was about to leave, and then I, I met this young, fine young man named Jebediah, and he took me out on a date to Applebee's. He even paid for me, something you could never do, because you're too busy paying Wimp for Wendy. You don't give a fuck about me. So, I, you know. I love Applebee's. Yeah, I got me a three for three. Is this you today? Wait, you know who that is, sweetie. Did I see your Instagram? That's not me. I don't have an Instagram. I don't know what you're talking about. I have hair on my head. What? I have hair on my head. That person was bald. Are you sure about that? I'm so sure. Is this you too? <laughs> That's not me. That's my cousin. What? That's my cousin, that's not me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that ain't me. Okay. I wish that was me, I ain't that thick. Which one made today? Huh? Which one made today? What'd you make? Um, soup and tooth pasta. Love what? what you say. And tooth? Soup and tooth? Say, say it with me. I will say it with you. Soup? And tooth? And tooth? Pasta. Pasta. Oh yeah. Soup and tooth pasta. Yep. Hey guys, I'm making soup and tooth pasta. Hey guys! No, I don't. I'm making <laughs> soup and tooth pasta. Hey guys, I'm making soup and tooth pasta. You know what? I ain't never had no surf and turf. What? Are what, you what, laughing at me? No. Do I like I'm laughing? Ooh, thanks for that gift. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What kind of soup and tooth you put on? What? When you put like um shrimp and steak? Oh yeah. Um, no, no. Lobster. Wow. Ooh. And steak and to make the pasta. You go see it tomorrow? You go you go like it? My news TikTok. You're always buying the expensive cuts of meat. You know that? You know, I spent one hundred and twenty bucks today. Yeah, sure. that's too expensive. You need to be buying uh damn what's that shit called? A Salisbury steak and a damn bag of shrimp from H E B or something. <laughs> that what you would do? It is what I would do because it's more affordable. You know what? It's affordable. Right. I show you. I show yeah, what. Steak. Japanese A5 Wagyu steak. That is expensive as hell. Guess how much? No, it's not. It's an expensive cut of meat in your damn freezer. You done ruined the value of the meat. No, this was frozen. This from Costco because I don't have any places to get good meat. I'm not in LA like you. Meat like that, you need to get it fresh, freshly cut. You have no frozen meat. I can't find any place don't have frozen the way I feel. But it's eighty bucks. That's a good deal because it's only one hundred dollars. Yeah. It was eighty bucks. What? Eighty eighty dollars eighty nine dollars per pound. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's ten dollars off than before. What are you gonna make with that? Um, I don't know. What should I make? A hamburger? Hamburger? Yeah, I already made a normal e five by itself. I wanna make something because I got two of them. But too bad. Oh, was that before tax? I think it was before the year. I think I could do this tax right off. You're going to make a ham. Oh, I guess you can make a Wagyu ham. But you usually make it with like the, the ground Wagyu steak, not no whole steak with a bone in it. I think I have to cut it round because if I ground it up, you know, I can buy a ground or no part of me, you know. I got some, you know, cash with me, but like, but the only thing. From all them deals you be doing, from all them so uh, $50,000 deals you be doing. It's so fatty. It's yeah. so fatty. You know, we doing all them deals. They be, they be paying I, you. I haven't got a sponsor that. over you. But I'm talking talking to a management company. I, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm not good at emails. Uh, maybe you should talk to him on the phone. 
Um, you talking about management company? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I think in February because it's so busy. It's like a busy. Oh, busy motherfucker. <laughs> they got shit going on. No, they they have a a, a good one, but you know. Oh, yeah. But I have to email them again tonight. You should. You should but, talk yeah. on the phone. Tell them you want to talk on the phone. You want to talk to email, baby. You want to talk to the phone. And tell them you want to do this, this, that, and that. Huh? No, I did. I did talk to them on the phone before. The oh, first time. Oh. Then that's just emails. Because I've been busy then. But, but once, you know, because they're not. You want you know, I haven't you signed, I haven't signed them yet. You put me on the phone and I'll translate for you. <laughs> because the camera's <can't> down here. <laughs> so, you know, they might not understand your accent, so. I'll translate for you. Okay. Yeah. No, I understand. Do you have a Manzano? I bet you do. Manzano? A Manzano? Yeah. You know, I don't know about no Manzano, but I do have a Manzano at my at the place I work at. His name is Clyde. Kind of come out like a, like a online, you know, social media Manzano. No, I ain't got one of those, but I do have a manager at the car wash I work at named Clyde. Okay. Clyde get real handy with me sometimes, and I tell I, I turn them down because I ain't that kind of girl. Uh-uh. I don't think you would turn down anything. You know what? I would be turning down the me? volume on the, uh, the, 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 the the radio of my car as I pull up to the lake to dump your body into it with the rocks aligned all through it. I would dump your body into the lake and I would put you, I would turn that volume down so I don't want nobody to know that I'm there concealing a dead body. Oh well, yeah, but um, you know, you say on live, you know. If I, if I, if I not dead, if I find you, I'm a Christian. If I'm dead, you know who did it. Ain't nobody gonna believe you, I'm a Christian. A sinful? Huh? A lying one? You know, I ain't no lying, Kurt. I don't lie, actually. Lying is a sin. It ain't. No, it is a sin, but I ain't never done it before. I'm going to try to lie a day. Never. On TikTok, guys, especially. Never. That's a lie. Never. You lie? Everybody tell me, lies. Tell me one lie I said on TikTok. I, I lie, you lie. Everybody lies. Tell me, Everybody, one, tell me one lie. The planet lies. lies. At least... Uh, at least a lot of times, you know, a lot of people lie. Lying all the time on here. Tell me one lie. I tell some people don't lie as much, but you know, some people don't You're lie. You're wondering around the damn motherfucking question I'm asking you because oh, no, you know. Sorry. No, sorry, I didn't heal. I definitely knew. Tell me a lie. I told on here. Just You're what? a person. You have a you have a wig. That that's a fake background. You have a dress. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm not wearing a wig to say no fake background, and I do have a dress on. Hmm? One of those are lies. I do have hair on my head to say no wig. I don't have no fake background, and I am wearing a dress. But it's okay. You can lie, but but you you know. Is it okay to lie? It's not okay to lie. Exactly. It's not. And I don't know where you got that from. Probably from your daddy. But let me tell you this. You probably should have been raised with your mom instead of your daddy. Because your daddy ain't got no big deck. I mean, no, your dad. My mom raised me pretty much. But, you know, I, I go to my dad at visits, you know, every week or every two weeks. Um, when I was a, uh, till I turned 18 and I lived with my dad. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No. I think your mama skipped out on you because she couldn't deal with Wendy no more. So she left town and she couldn't deal with it. She just left you with him because she said, girl, I don't, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm out of here. No, this she is my dad left town than to like, where, where I'm at right now, Oregon City. Your daddy's too big to be leaving town. He's sitting on that couch right now with a bag of potato chips watching Jeopardy. No, he's sitting down in his studio in, in his room. Just, just kidding. Down. Oh, laying down in his bed. He's just eating dry. I'm watching this live right now. He's and by drinking a Coke. Are you okay? Sorry, you're talking too much, and I decided to distract you with my feminine wiles. You got such a stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? 